Meet the new anamorphic lens from Moment, the 1.55X, which is the key to getting all that cinematic goodness right on your phone. Today we're on a real world shoot and we're gonna show you just how amazing this lens actually is, as well as explaining some of the specs about it. Okay, so what even is anamorphic? Essentially what it's doing is it's giving you that beautiful widescreen look that you see across Hollywood and you wonder, how do they do that? How do they get those flares? Well, it's with a lens like this. And what's cool is it's actually in your camera squeezing your image, which then in post de-squeezes it to give you a widescreen look. But because you can de-squeeze in our app, it makes it that much easier. What was typically reserved for really expensive cameras on high budget shoots is now available for your phone. And that's, well, that's pretty cool. Shooting on an anamorphic lens gives you a really nice squeezed image to your shots using the 1.55 in comparison to the 1.33 is that the 1.55 is going to give you a lot more for your shot. Shooting on anamorphic also allows you to get close up to subjects without taking them away from the world that's around them. And that's because you're able to squeeze a lot more into your image, which is then de-squeezed later. So whether this is a stylistic choice or not, and depending on what kind of anamorphic lens you're using, whether it's a 1.33x or 1.55x, the higher the number, the more of a squeeze look you're going to get, which eventually leads to these awesome flares, distorted edges, and a nice depth of field. Because we just updated our app, it's going to be a whole lot easier to now shoot it. To download the app, all you have to do is open up the App Store, search the Moment Pro Camera app, go ahead and download it, of course wait for it to download, select between which Moment lens you're actually using, we have a whole bunch of them for you to choose from, but in this case we're using the 1.55 times anamorphic lens. Go ahead and click that and boom, you are ready to start filming. This is so nice because you don't need to spend any time in post de-squeezing your footage, which is exactly what I'm doing in this video. Alright, so now we're going to get out of the studio space and show you guys how awesome this lens looks in Santa Monica. While we're out here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you just how cinematic this lens can look. What a 1.55x anamorphic, just what that, mm, what that chef's kiss of cinematicness. Cinematicness? Yeah, here we have our skateboard talent. What up? Are you ready? Me is taking so long. We're gonna run through the gear really quick of what you need to shoot with your 1.55x anamorphic lens that you just purchased. First of all, you're gonna need a moment case with our drop-in filter mount. That is how you actually mount this bad boy to your phone. Mounting it is super simple. You just put it down like that, twist, and you are good to go. Then you're gonna go straight into the pro camera, open it up, go to video mode, 1.55, bada bing, bada boom. The other thing here to note is because it's it's bright. We, we want to shoot the right shutter speed, 180 degree rule. We have the filter mount with the anamorphic plug as well as a ND filter. We're gonna pop that right over. It's just a press fit, so we'll make sure that's good. We're looking very nice. Cool, great. Our gimbal of choice, we're using the Zihun M2S. All right, let's do this. First take, already getting yelled at. So right now we are filming some skating, obviously. We're gonna just film a little bit here, not too much. This is an escape video. I was gotta remind myself of that. And then once the sun gets a little lower, we're gonna go to the beach, shoot a little of the low tide, and then we're gonna go ride a roller coaster. Who doesn't, who doesn't wanna do that? I'm actually terrified of roller coasters. You're scared of roller coasters? Yeah. And up like Yeah, when I try to tell you how I feel, strange things happen to me. I missed it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Still kind of vibey on that 1.55X. Now we got the crew. We're gonna shoot some stuff on the beach and we're gonna go over there. Oh, oh, where is it? There it is, right here. Okay, we're gonna do some anamorphic photos now. They're doing cartwheels and I feel old. You know you, you can, can do a cartwheel. I can't do a cartwheel. Can I, can do a cartwheel. I 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 can do a cartwheel. You got it. You got it. Yeah. I felt that one. I felt that one. So this is where we put the 1.55X to the real test. 
Couldn't think of the more perfect way to play with this than taking it to the arcade. The more time that I spent using this lens, the more inspired I was to just keep on shooting. This 276 to 1 aspect ratio is one of the largest field of views that you could get from an anamorphic lens. So whether you decide to actually shoot a dedicated project on an anamorphic lens or even just want to take this lens with you everywhere you go. This lens was designed for people like you, like me, who just want to have fun while making things and while still getting a really nice high-end cinematic look. Now why would you want the 1.55x over the moment existing 1.33 anamorphic lens? The 1.33x still has the anamorphic look to it, however if you do want something more adventurous, more distortion, and more of that anamorphic look, then the 1.55x is going to be able to accomplish just that. Not to mention you can just take these things with you everywhere you go. So if you want to go shoot a movie tomorrow or if you want to just go hang out with your friends and turn it into something amazing, then it is time for you to cop the 1.55x anamorphic lens. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions at all, please let us know in the comments and we will see you guys on the next video.